everybody, welcome back to our first year. We're uh, back. The first episode of uh, Kali Conversation <laughs> for the year, uh, year with me, Rick. Me, Naeen. And, and our special guest. Well, no, he's special. no longer special anymore. I mean, what? I see him almost every other month. <laughs> We talk about them almost every episode. We, we talk about every episode. And thank you, by the way, for that. And, and your last... Uh, oh, and this COVID is Dan one? Ramos. Oh, you forgot the COVID name. episode. You guys uh, did a shout out to me. I really appreciated that. It made me oh. laugh. I said, finally, they didn't forget me this time. And that's and why we're here today. It. They plugged me in. We, 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 we knew we were going to be here today. Well, see, here's the thing. Like, I always wanted to start off the year since even before the holidays with Danny being on our on our first show because he is the godfather of what we do. Who godfather? godfather. No. Well, well great Father. grandfather. Great grandfather. Great grandfather. <laughs> Just call me your daddy. Ooh. ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm your daddy. Well my other daddy's dead, so uh, maybe. So uh, you know <laughs> folks, this is the like we said, Danny's been here a couple of times. Uh, the yes. last three times we, we did a conversation with him. So this year we decided anybody who's been a guest on the show before Rather going about their history because we've already done that. Just we watch the episode. We're gonna go into um, the actual demos of the stuff that they actually do, what his system is all about. Um, but before we get to that, we have a couple of announcements right now. We do. Yes. Um, oh, we do. Yeah. In February, uh, February fifth. Yes. What do we got going on? Coming up, we will be on location in Hawaii. Woohoo! Talking to a, a few interesting individuals uh one of which is al de cascos of the al de cascos fame of the al de cascos fame uh there i know go. him as malia's ex-husband yeah. or mark mark de cascos dad there you no go. malia's ex-husband well, still yeah probably <laughs> for, for, only because we love malia so much and we talked to her first Yes, that's right. So this, to get to him. This is the follow-up conversation <laughs> in the series. Of you know it. what? It wasn't even to get to him. We oh. got to him because of all the things she said about him. That's uh, right. That all uh, the stories, and we so were like, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna we, confirm. We, we need, need to, to get confirm. the other side of this. We, we, we need to be even, right? Equal. That's right. Yeah. Who else we got over in Hawaii? Oh, uh, we got what's his name? Jason. Oh, Jason. Yes, Sunny. Yeah, Sunny. Sunny Jason is a bladed hand. Bladed hand. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. oh, sorry about that, folks. Oh, look. Yeah. We, have, we have somebody what calling in now. now. <laughs> it's out the Costco. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? I'm in the middle of a uh, colleague conversation <laughs> right before yours. Uh, actually, I'm going to have to call you back, Nick. Yeah, that's okay. what happens. Okay, go ahead. Come on out. So turn off right. your phone. I, I gotta, you. I'm in the middle of something. You know this is a live show when shit like this happens. <laughs> we're not taking that out. Um, <laughs> who told us this on? Oh, did, Sonny. Folks, we right. told them in the beginning to have <laughs> Mine's in like airplane it. mode just for this. <laughs> it was actually um, on airplane mode. And it's still good to know. Uh, <laughs> see, we're already flying. Uh, yeah, so Sonny Seesaw, um, he's also, uh, and a lot of people don't realize this, Unless you're in the martial world, stuntman. He's a stuntman for Hollywood. Yeah, and over thirty actually, years of experience. He's actually been in a couple of episodes of Hawaii um, NCSI. Yeah. So we're looking forward to you know getting to really talk. Well, to him. now that we're in the industry, now that we're actors, <laughs> <laughs> and that's the other uh, announcement we have. That's that, some bullshit. <laughs> that movie is going to be coming out in a, in a couple of months. Hopefully, yeah, May, the premiere will uh, be here. March. Yeah, we're having the premiere here. It's going to be a movie night at, at Danny's place. Out here in Vallejo, California. Yeah, we're charging uh, admission. Yes, and the reason why he said we're charging admission because of our fundraiser. We are fundraising for the show finally because well, yeah, Hawaii's not cheap, and this is all <laughs> out of pocket. So we will be having a fundraising seminar, seminar. coming in June. And we a donation have, box. Yeah, and Maybe. a donation box, of course. Yeah, Who, who's going to be on our, our special guest for that seminar? Our special guest or the well, our, few our, special guests? Yeah, we have five of them, right? We do, we do. We have uh, Dennis Duarte. He's going to be on the floor. We're going to get him in front of people. Uh, we have uh, ooh, a young man by the name of Conrad Bowie. If you guys remember last season. Can we say that now? Last season? Last season? Oh, my God. <laughs> last year? <laughs> last year, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, last season we had uh, Conrad Bowie and this guy. Oh, my gosh. Amazing martial artist. Yeah. And Amazing. a monk. And a monk. And a monk. And a gun-toting American. That's right. 
Yeah, he is. Yeah. He, he absolutely is. <laughs> then also we have a, 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 a wonderful guy who's been very supportive of us. Yes. Um, he's done a lot of things. He's actually gotten us uh, connected with the people who are doing the We Are Bruce Lee uh, exhibit in China. Which we also Francisco. have coming up. Uh, yeah, Bob, Bob Gomez. Bob Gomez. Bob hey. Gomez. Uh, Grandmaster. Grandmaster mm. now. Grandmaster Official. Bob. And earned. Yeah, and earned. Earned. Very earned. earned. So thank you very much, uh, Grandmaster. Bob Gomez. And I think to headline, we have a young lady by the name of Kelly Kusumoto. Kusumoto. Ah, I even got that. Right. Ah, yeah, he practiced. Now, Kelly Kusumoto, if you guys uh, forgot, she's also been on our show. Um, and she's an awesome uh, wrestling instructor. She's a wrestler, just an all-out yeah. all wrestler. Yeah. She uh, trained in college. She was prepped to go into the Olympics, but... You know things happen right. uh, but she loves teaching and she's really good at what she does I, I got to play with her on the mat a little and bit and he got ragdolled oh yeah that's and right she's tiny I forget how small she is because all I remember is being thrown around and manhandled <laughs> so bad that it felt like I was fighting a bear <laughs> so when you see her in person she's a lot shorter than me but do not be fooled oh yeah do not. that woman is strong similar to this guy who isn't very tall but he's Five freaking four. scary. <laughs> no, because seriously, like, uh, and then this is something that, that um, because I've been able to play with so many, you know, masters and grandmasters and people with, with decades of experience, you start getting kind of that sixth sense of, mm, this person's dangerous. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then the way that they move. You're too kind. <laughs> You're too well, kind. <laughs> please, please, go ahead. Keep well, going. <laughs> <laughs> Your movements, and, and, and this is very unique to you because you have this way of, of changing angles and coming right back, but unexpectedly. The moment I start chasing you, you cut back, so you're already in my face, and by the time I realize that I got hit or cut or struck, you're already moving out in a different angle. And yep. that's just your, your own way of moving. Like That's your, your natural, I guess, personality when it comes to fighting. And I don't even know if I can teach that. <laughs> And that's what I wanted to talk to you about today is really... Well, before we get into that, oh. we have one other guest. <laughs> what? Who are we talking about? Fernando Solis. Fernando. We're trying to get yeah. this amazing boxer instructor right. who took a very scientific approach to his teaching to understand not how to move like him, but to understand your own body and to get the most out of it. His teaching methodology is it's beyond impressive. It's insane. It, 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 it's... it's he, um, I'm not a boxer, but he got me to throw a hook where I felt like it had power behind it. Yeah. So, folks, if you haven't noticed, um, the, the common denominator with all these people that we're having on, they were all previous guests of our show. So we thought it'd be, you know, you've seen them on our show, now you get to actually see them live, up front and personal, and you, you get to really brain. pick their brains. Really? And really get to talk to them and, and see what it is that you were hearing about on the mat. Because again, like I said, it's one thing to see it, it's one thing to hear it, but to feel it, yeah. uh, there's the proof. And then we stand behind every one of our guests in saying that they're the real deal. Only because they could beat the shit out of us, so we don't want to get in front of them. Which is why they're the real deal. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of sad when we can get beat up by girls. We don't want to get crossed, <laughs> we don't want to cross them in any way. It's not, and she's so nice. Too. Oh yeah, yeah, super she's nice. She's a sweetheart. And don't forget, she has a uh, apparel wear that she makes. Oh, right. Uh, Distant Clash. Distant Clash. Distant Clash, which we couldn't say right for the longest time. <laughs> Distant Clash? Distant Clash. Distant Clash. 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 Distant. Yeah. With a K. Yes. Then she also does little uh, caricatures. So if you have something you want her to do, yep. uh, she has a whole line. Check her out. Check her I think distantclash.com. And you can see all her apparel and all her designs. It's pretty cool. She has wrestlers, uh, jiu-jitsu, uh, karate, uh, boxers. So it's these really cute little things, but they're fun. They're it's fun. like a so. Japanese anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little chibis. Yeah. I think what they're called. So now let's go ahead and move on to uh, this guy next to us. Um, we're really looking forward to see what he's been uh, doing what, for the last year now. Yeah. yeah. We, we COVID all hit us hard. Yeah, we all haven't been able to play. Uh, idle yeah. hands, right? Well, so what have I done? I actually built this deck this past year. <laughs> we're, we're the, the deck right. that we're on. Uh, 
a nephew Future of mine karaoke bar. said he was uh, getting rid of his deck, and I said, I'll take it down for you if you let me keep the wood. This is all redwood. Oh, nice. Expensive redwood. So oh, I got heavy. a couple of thousand dollars worth of wood here. But anyway, I took it apart. So you brought it here. That sounded really, really, yeah, right. sounded like, really like dirty, dirty, right? <laughs> yeah. A couple of thousand dollars. Uh, worth you... the woody. <laughs> <laughs> folks, folks, we're advertising his martial arts, not his other services. <laughs> Whatever those are, that's, yeah. that's between you two. <laughs> right, so anyway, yeah, I, I've been busy with this, trying to get more training ground mm -hmm. out of my yard. I, I do have one back there inside that. We're going to visit that a little bit. We will visit uh, his gym. But I found this, created this as my, it might turn out to be my sparring. Ooh, no, the sparring deck. The sparring deck. Oh, so, well, we got a, we got a guest who oh. is just interrupting the show. So. Mini Dan. What are you saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, his brother did it last sure. time. Yeah, it was so now it's his turn. Yeah, yeah. The other but side. then it was also you the know, wife. The thing about fame and trying to get in front of a camera, you know. <laughs> he's going to ask if he can do karaoke in a little bit, so. But folks, this is really how Danny's house is. His family is open constantly door, in and out. Policy. Everybody comes in, everybody goes. It, it's they go random parties kind of pop up out of nowhere because more than five people are here at a time. They're like, hey, let's get a, a few drinks, and it becomes a party. Then it so, becomes a bar. <laughs> this then is a definitely bar. the place to be. For those of you who want to get on the ground floor, he is taking students here in Vallejo. Wait, oh, Venetia? Yeah, there's a... Vallejo. Vallejo. Where's Vallejo? Vallejo. <laughs> here in Vallejo. So we won't give out the details of where he is because we don't want people to flood his home. But if you do want to get in touch with we him... We will have a contact number that's going to pop up on the screen. Right here. No, okay. we're gonna put links in oh, the oh, actual thing. description yeah, so go. we can contact him directly via Facebook and you guys can get talking because that's between you guys. But we are promoting him and his gym. So what we're gonna get 20% for our fundraiser, so thank you, Danny. We appreciate it. Sure. Oh, 25? Dude, isn't he like our guy? So aren't we supposed to? No, no, no. no. Is that how it works? This is for a conversation, not ladies. Oh, we're non-traditionalists. <laughs> That's right. We're, we're definitely not traditionalists. <laughs> you guys are too much. Money doesn't go up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We have so, issues. are you gonna have time to, uh, to play with us today and do demos? Oh us? yeah, 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 definitely. Cool. Uh, so what have you been working on? Sorry, other than your your future karaoke, uh, but you said sparring deck too. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah, sparring deck. This, this is uh, what I want. I, I'll, I'll create. Again, all this stuff just has to move. Right, right, right. Yeah, it, it, that's all. It, it's just a place to do something. So, Aside from the the bar being right there, <laughs> it really the is. The dance right. floor <laughs> slash karaoke, karaoke stage right behind the camera. Oh, actually, we are doing the movie is, premiere here, right? Yeah. And, and we're also doing a uh, movie premiere because there's a, a, I think seven foot, eight foot oh, screen. Oh, the screen, yeah, the I can screen see that the thing, yeah. The back there. Uh, and we're going to have it be projected and we'll have sound. Uh, that's Don't it. forget to um, reserve your tickets for that event because when the, when the movie comes out in uh, March, we're going to be selling tickets. <laughs> yeah. Pre sale already, you know, halfway gone. We, we have half the tickets left. And it's we'll all donation based, <laughs> folks. It's donation based. <laughs> I'm not going to put a price tag on it, but it is donation based. So I, like have, I have a question for you because um, I find this a little interesting just because. Was a you question know, for uh, for you? Oh, for me. I grew up in the '90s, so I watched a lot of like fighting movies. Yes. What's the idea of having fights on elevated stages? Like, do you have any opinion <laughs> on that? Or is it just in, for in show? the movies you see it? I, I I think because the audience wants to look up. Is that what at it is? the masters? <laughs> you don't want to have to look down. I think I want to look up to my masters, so yeah, I want to put them up, up on the. the <laughs> That's just an opinion. <laughs> well, no, because because uh, I find it interesting. I'm like, okay, we're a few feet off the ground yeah. here. Yeah. That well, would look so I, cool. I think it just kind of separates. Ten yeah. inches, most the north. Most. Ten inches. Uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Six <laughs> yeah, feet, no more. Ten feet off the ground. Yeah. There's a two by six that kind of frames it. Two feet, so, my feet, my yeah, feet. Both of my feet, feet are off the ground. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. No, but but that that, that brings an interesting point because here in america every like you know professional event we look down onto the right. people in the middle but a boxing ring or even a cage ring yeah it's that's true it's elevated, elevated. It's unless elevated. you're in the nosebleeds and then yeah. you can't see anything yeah. i think looking down is because of the venue right the place 
took comic but back in the early days during the Ming Dynasty. <laughs> when he was around. When I was around. <laughs> when he was young. When I was young. That, yeah, it's, I, I think mainly for sure. Again, we want to look up to our masters, right. to, to our idols. So I think. Well, that says a lot about, about, about the idea. Then how do we. How do we keep the ideals of tradition alive where we do look up to our masters, but we don't elevate them to the point where we're literally putting them on a pedestal? Well, the pedestal well, like is usually a, a lot taller. Wait, wait a minute. That was significant. I like that. Okay. I like how you just... Now, that's a totally different conversation. Well, but that, that's but why we, we want to edit that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, again, how we look at the people that we admire. Right. That's on us. Okay. We set the pedestal for that for those who are like just in awe of someone their pedestal might be like this no but, I, but let me, let me say, say. in another context though, because I, I I get what you're saying but I don't see it that way only because we've seen some schools where they put themselves on that pedestal so that everybody kind of fears them it's like they Remember demand, we, we they demand that, the, yeah, right? Yeah. They demand that. Yeah. Oh, I'm the guy, so you got to look no. up. You Call know, me the, GM or they. Grand they put themselves on that pedestal, right. but for us on this end of it, it's us. It's our responsibility to say, okay. I'm going to put them up at this point. Right. But there are those who we really say that, man, this guy is good. <laughs> we can. But okay, so that's right? more of so a. Th that's us. Do you think that's stature, though, to the individual? Though? That, yeah, that's yeah, right, right. And well, for me, saying, it is. Yeah, yeah and for the me, circle it is. of martial arts. Right, but you can say that this guy's way up here right. because maybe of your own experience. Right. But right. for me, I said, okay, yeah, he's right here. Well, because it, it, it's a, kind of like a stigma amongst artists where uh, a real artist sees their work and they think it's good, but then they look at somebody else and they're like, oh my God, this guy is so much better than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I, and I feel like that for about myself. I said, man, I'm right. but then that on guy. their side, it's like this. They look yeah, at you yeah, like, okay, okay, you're up here, and we're like, wow, I've been doing it this long, but you're already that high. Like, so yeah. it's it, so is that more of the the artistic side of things, the mentality of, of, I, I the, love, think of they, the art? I would, I would say respect. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's I, respect I that respect. you get to that individual that you're yeah. looking at. You know, wow. the, the pedestal. This is my respect pedal. Right. Pedestal for <laughs> This one, Rick. Where are you? Where are you, Rick? Right? Right? Okay. Uh, right? And I so, like being down here. Just right, because right. I'm hey, afraid of heights. <laughs> but I, I, I think it, it falls down to respect. And not so much as the pedestal is the... The marker. Okay. The marker. But yeah. I, I think respect for understanding the, the journey that they took. You know, and how they got to be where they're at. The effort I, I, it, yeah. That's That's what I want to respect. Right? The end result, Grandmaster. Okay, yeah. right? right, but again, as we say, Grandmaster Bob Gomez, yeah. totally earned. Right, oh, right? Yeah. Very, yeah. totally earned. So that respect yeah, is way up here for us. And he won't take it that way. I yeah. mean, Master Green. Self-acclaimed yeah. Grandmasters, oh, as there are okay. so many yeah, 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 in yeah. FMA, yeah, or I even kinda, Master yeah, for, I, for that. Um, it's like, there, you know, I'm, I don't have any names. That I want to put out there, but yeah, I, Danny again, never got a letter in the mail that called him a master or anything. Right, so. No, nope, uh, but he got suspenders that say "Supreme Grandmaster." Yeah, so yeah, it was going down this <laughs> Christmas gifts, <laughs> actually, from these two guys, and they shared the cost. Yeah, we did. So. Yeah, and I cheated. I didn't pay <laughs> for my part. Yeah, you're welcome. It was on me. <laughs> so don't get Yeah, I, I think respect is, is more of. Uh, the, the gauge uh, rather than looking at it as a pedestal. Uh, now, what, what are you gauge, gauging that respect on? Because I, I've noticed that there are, and we all know them, right? The, the old big dojo masters. Right. Who, well, you look at them, you're like, oh, wait a minute. I, mean, we I, can't, respect respect you. I, I can't respect you in a sense that I don't know you. Yeah. Right? Okay. So I have to understand your journey and what you've done there to you get go. to this point. Yeah. And I have to study that. I have to understand who you are. And, and really be exposed to you to give you that respect out of respect because you already have the title right. okay uh, i understand that but my own personal belief inside that right. would say i don't know what I, I don't know exactly what you went through to, to get that yeah. but given that you are you have been given that title i respect that 
but in the sense that how much respect can I really give you if I don't know you? Right. So it, it feels like there's like a standard amount of respect that you give somebody yeah, yeah, when you don't know them. Yeah. And then either that goes up or down depending yeah. on the individual attached to that respect. Well, let, exactly. me, let me ask you guys this because it, this raises an interesting thing. Uh -huh. In uh, one of the Matrix movies, right. you know, the guy comes up and goes, oh, I'm sorry what I'm about to do. And they go fight. Yeah. And then he goes, why do you do that? He goes, oh, you don't really know somebody until you fight them. Fight them. Yeah. That's yeah. that incredible respect that, oh, I see what you can do. I, you know, I, I yeah, see yeah, that yeah. what you're putting forward. Do you think that's an even better way to gauge that? I mean, when you play uh, with somebody that way? Uh, that, uh, yeah, I think. Right, right, to bring yeah. back what, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, you, that, that's the only way to really right. understand that individual. Because I love that they did that in the movie. How, how do movie. they fare? Right. Okay. How would you fare against me? I mean, oh, I get and, and, and I think the, the it's almost like an unwritten rule that you don't do that between masters. Right? Why is it? Because though? somebody is going to lose. Right. There has to. So and is that an ego thing? Well, you don't want them to lose face in front of everybody. Yeah. You might because do that they behind have their closed doors. doors. Yeah. Never, like, like the Bruce Lee and uh, Jack Ma when they did their yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. It was behind yeah. closed doors. Yeah. Uh, even, huh. what was that? Huh. Hitman <coughs> did, yeah. did the same thing. Yeah. Everything was right. Because they, they didn't want their masters to be, okay, if they were inferior. Right. Then you don't want to show them. Oh, I should train that guy instead. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I, I think it's just an unwritten rule that you don't do that. Especially among friends. Right. Right, you, you don't do that. Wait, because so then how, how, how do you recover after that at the end? Does that mean we're a-holes for putting all those guests in the 25th episode? No, they yeah, all I think that out. that's... Oh, that's true. <laughs> no, one did it. <laughs> he let you win. I let you win. <laughs> the grass beat me. The grass beat me. I slammed you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even expect that to go there either. He just went but, there. Well, you know, know like right? I said, that, that raises that, that <clears throat> incredible point of, you know, how do you see the person in front of you? Well, it, it makes sense to, to say, I think the, the best conclusion we can come from this conversation is until you're there, until you play with the person, until you train yeah, with the person, you, just don't. you really don't know. And you can talk all the shit or all the respect, but it really doesn't amount to anything if you have no basis behind it. Right. Okay. And even the hearsay I, stuff so, doesn't so work. So here, right. here's another point too, right? Uh -huh. um, let's say you're sparring and you don't want to lose. Ooh. So how much... More force. Yeah, the, okay, the, you did that, right? Play dirty but you guys are you guys are friends, and, and you guys are saying, "No, do I really want to hurt you?" So I hold back, or you may hold back because this is just a friendly sparring thing. Right. But at the same time, you don't want to lose. Right. Right. So, are you mm. going to hurt something or someone, or are you willing <laughs> to get hurt so that you don't have to and say that's okay, probably okay. the unwritten rule why you don't do that it's like right. you, I always you don't want to hurt so yeah, you don't want to ruin the friendship or whatever well, yeah. even in, in the 25th episode right, right. Where you guys created these little scenarios yeah. but at the same time we didn't go full bore on that either yeah. Yeah. right Mickey was because, close Mickey came close yeah. <laughs> but, but, that's, but that's the thing and, and I think it's the way that, that you guys have brought me up in the martial arts to really pay attention to what matters in the moment right and because of that, yeah. I feel that I have a, a good sense of what it would be like had you gone full force. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. there's a bit of a gauge that goes there to say, okay, this person is a real deal. Did they have to kick my ass to do it? No. You can feel the difference between somebody who's just doing a technique versus somebody who's doing something significant. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? I, I agree with that. So, <laughs> and that's why I say this guy's dangerous <laughs> Well, Nayan brought up the, the last time we were together, uh, trained in his garage, actually. Yes. Um, he said, is that your new soft? <laughs> oh, let me give you right? context behind it. Okay, because uh, we were playing with some um, some empty hands, some, some knife stuff, actually. And yeah. he just moved, and all he did was pass. Pass at the elbow, basic idea, you grab the elbow, drop, pass. And when he passed, my arm flew this way, and... If I hadn't bent it, it would have bent the other way. So it kind of got popped a little bit. And he said, I'm just going through the motion. And I was like, oh, I guess your new soft is pretty hard. Yeah. 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 
So hey, before the time gets away from us. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, because uh, that would be a great time to introduce that because yeah. he has been, and, and this is what I got from our conversation when we were training was it two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. Um, I've noticed that there is a change in his movements, and and I really want to see how you went about exploring your movements, specifically your okay. movements. I have an idea of what we're going to do now. And developed into what it was, because again, your soft didn't feel soft. Your easy wasn't. <laughs> it hurt. And and I know it hurt because I was the one who got hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Proof is in pudding, right? Yeah. So yeah. Let's, let's show how that goes about in the mind of Debbie and how it became Awesome. Okay. Folks, we'll be right back. We're going to set up We're the tables reset. in the area. And, not get and hurt. we'll see you in a few minutes. Yeah, okay, <laughs> folks, well, welcome back. Um, Danny's going to go ahead and demo his stuff that he's been playing with. Um, send money to Naeem because I'm sure he's going to get hurt on this one. Medical bills, maybe. And then yeah. we'll use that money instead of the medical stuff mm. for the fundraising thing. We'll let you heal your, on your own. Right. No medication. Okay. No braces. No, no, <laughs> you'll be fine. No I, I have some sticks we can use. Don't still. Well, I did buy a cane a few uh, few months ago, so I guess I can put some use into it. I think you'll be okay. 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 So here they go. See you guys later. Have fun. <laughs> All right, folks. Thank you for having me. Great, dying quality no, conversation. Thank you very much for doing this little plug. And, Incidentally, uh, folks, because we had Danny on our first show, he's going to donate to us a hundred dollars from what I said, right? Wow. Fundraiser. Aren't you supposed to be off camera now? Okay, I got the rest go. of it. God. All right, so <laughs> here it is. The blade of mine. The secrets. You you know how they always talk about the secret. The secret. Yeah. The yeah. secret. The secret. You know, um, ancient Filipino secret. Before we started the uh, the conversation today, they said that I was going to demo, and then I needed to show some stuff, and then it got me to thinking about. From what Naeem said, what brought me to this point? You liked it, huh? You liked right? it. So then I have to go back. Then I said, well, I started thinking about how I actually got here, where I started, what I did growing up. Were you thinking of the goat? Martial art. No, not the goat at this time. Okay. But it made me think about my, my own practices and what I did to be able to do what I do now. Yeah. You said that my soft or my heart is my new soft. Yeah. Or is it the other, no, the other way around? Right. The new soft <clears throat> is the, the new heart. So, but how did I develop that? Because I really don't know. <laughs> Cut. Right? Cut. But at We're the done. same time, I had to go and, and really look back and, and what I did. And part of my movements and, and what I do mm -hmm. had a lot to do with isometrics and dynamic tension. Okay. We talked about this before, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So in, in developing isometrics, and I actually learned this from Bruce Lee, not the man himself, but his own practices <laughs> that he would just tense up and hold it in place or slowly, gradually increase tension, whether I'm going up or coming in or going out or doing this. And you see this a lot in the hard styles and how this, this developed. But at the same time, here it is, my hand's almost shaking to the yeah. point that everything is tense. And I might do it this way. Isometrics, it's steady. Mm -hmm. While I'm driving, I might be on my steering wheel and I'm pushing in. I might get inside my steering wheel and push up. I might push down, I might push up. Yeah, people watching you drive must be wondering, what the fuck is he doing? I do that. <laughs> I, I, I do that. And, and that, again, developed this. So now, <laughs> When you go to thrust, when I drop, I'm actually gripping at that very end. But everything is loose up until that point. Huh. So when you said that yeah. I felt this, man, then it just became this. <laughs> and at that point, did I do that? But the pain was felt here first. Oh, yeah. As I dropped there, boom, now it's here. Now I can do whatever I need to do. That's freaking jarring on the joints, folks. Yeah. But the idea is... I know I have all this power, now I need to develop this to this. This needs to be automatic. That if I felt this, this is here. How long does it take? That as soon as I touch you here, that this should follow. 
So is there is there like an, a, an amount of speed that you can develop, or, or is it just? Well, you just know, you're already going to it. Okay. So it's right here. Then, yeah, can we do all of this? Yes. Everybody knows all of that. But oh, yeah. to get to this point and really jar this here and really make that drop, yeah. destroy this. The brain says that hurt. Ugh. Not even thinking about this now. That's the idea. Right. So then over time, with, with these little movements, then I just create, how do I develop the power for these movements? And that's where you got the isometric. And the... That's where all of that came in. Later on, I just started moving. So now, while, when I train by myself, my solo training will consist of just movement. So what I want you to do is just follow the leader. Okay. All right. Follow the leader. All right, so here it is. Follow me. Now, I go through these movements. Just to understand the movement. Oh, you need to step and the stepping and the time that it takes that when I step over and this is like a parry of course and there's the, the guard that I can then turn over pull that arm and that's here but as soon as I grab this here this is automatically here so then that's what these movements become I will just move and then figure out combatively how does this apply is that a word combatively <laughs> it is now and if it may, we come up with our own words. All the time. All the time. <laughs> so now here it is. I'm just dropping. So now there's a drop that's here. I drop here. Come over. Drop here. And, and I do this. The movements then will trigger a question that I need to answer. The most, The question is, where's the mechanics? How do I use this? So there is a, a set number of questions or specific questions that you ask every time or is it just whatever pops into your head whatever question pops into my head oh. then i can create my own questions after that okay but the initial question is where's my timing how long does it take on that drop